Hi, my name is Sunday, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to refund an order in WooCommerce. So let's assume a customer just made a purchase but changed their mind and would like their money back. Or they made a purchase and you can't fulfill it due to availability and would like to refund the customer so they can get their money back. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to properly refund an order in WooCommerce. Ready? Let's get started. First step is to go to your site dashboard. In WordPress to access your website dashboard, you simply visit your domain uh, slash wp-admin. So your domain slash wp-admin and it's going to take you to your site dashboard. The interface is going to look similar to this. Once you are on your website dashboard, you want to navigate to uh, WooCommerce orders. So go to look at the navigation menu by uh, the left sidebar here and over on WooCommerce and click on orders that is going to load the WooCommerce orders menu and you can locate additional orders by using this navigation to go to the next page and you can also filter orders by status so normally to refund orders and order the order has to have either the processing or completed order status so those are the orders uh, that payment have been met for so orders that payment have been meant for made for will either have the processing or completed order status and those are the orders that can be refunded you can refund an order that is pending payment because payment has not been made you can also refund a cancel order a refunded order or an on all uh, order if you'd like to learn more about WooCommerce order status I recommend checking my video on changing WooCommerce order status the video provides explanation on the different other uh, status all right, so let's go ahead and refund an order. So if an order was purchased recently, it's going to be on the first page. So you just want to locate it. If you have tons of orders and you can easily locate the order, what you want to do is to filter by customer. So you can use the customer's email. They would have emailed you for a refund. You can use their email address. You can also use the order number and all what you have to do is to enter the order number here. You can enter the order number here or their email address in here and search and it's just going to give you a list of orders matching your search criteria. So once you find the order, you want to click on it. For her, for this tutorial, let's assume this is it. We're just going to click it to open the order. Once we have it open, we're going to see all the other uh, items right here. And in WooCommerce, there are two types of refund. There's an automatic refund and there's a manual refund. And I'll be showing you how to go about both refunds. So an automatic refund simply means that the customer is going to be refunded in WooCommerce and is also going to be refunded automatically in your payment gateway. So let's assume the customer paid for the order through Stripe. Once you refund in WooCommerce using the automatic refund, the refund is also going to be processed automatically in Stripe. There's the manual refund that requires you to refund in WooCommerce and to refund in Stripe, which means you have to log into your payment gateway dashboard, be it Stripe, be it Square, yeah, with manual refund, you have to refund the customer in your payment gateway dashboard manually too. Uh, usually the automatic refund is recommended because with the automatic refund, no uh, additional steps is required from you. Once you refund in WooCommerce, the customer is just going to get that refund in a few days. So I'm going to show you how to do the automatic refund and how to do the manual refund. Let's start with automatic refund. And for both steps, I'm also going to show you how to do a full refund and how to do a partial refund. So probably the customer purchased multiple items. I just wanted one of them refunded. I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and refund this order. So to refund, you simply need to look at the refund button right here and you click on refund and it's going to show you this. You're going to see all the other items and you have to select what you want to refund. So as you can see in this order, the quantity here for the first product is two units for this is one and one so for this if you want to refund these two units we have to enter the two units either by increasing the quantity here you can increase quantity and decrease quantity here or you can just enter type in two here so let's just increase and you're going to see that this is two this is two which means we'll be refunding this uh the complete two high terms that they purchased and here you can see that the total here in this box also matches this. If you wanted to just refund, do a partial refund, you're going to type in the amount you wanted to refund. So maybe you wanted to refund $20, you can just type in 20 
in here and that with that you'll be processing a partial refund but we want to process a full refund so we'll just ensure we use this unit here and it's just going to automatically calculate the refund amount and if you want to refund these other items you just have to enter the quantity you want to refund making sure the quantity matches the quantity the customer purchase if they want a full refund the good thing is that WooCommerce has a prevention method in place that ensures you cannot refund a customer beyond the unit the, the purchase which is really good and uh, so for this we are processing a full refund and you can see that once we enter the units here and everything matches what the customer purchase we are going to see that the refund amount is also going to match the total available to refund which is simply the order total and you always want to have a reason for a refund for this it could just be customer requested refund this helps you know why this order was refunded in the future and here you are going to see that we have refund manually and refund via stripe we always want to refund via your payment gateway stripe square whatever payment gateway it is so with this you'll be using the automatic refund which means the customer is going to be automatically refunded in your payment gateway because when you look at it it's the payment gateway that received the funds which means the phone is actually in the payment gateway dashboard and not in woocommerce so refunding via your payment gateway stripe square whatever name your payment gateway is you're going to see that here refunding via your payment gateway is going to ensure that the refund will be automatically processed in your payment gateway but if you click refund manually that means you have to log into your payment gateway dashboard and refund the customer if you don't do that that will mean the customer will not receive the refund so this for automatic refund and this for manual refund so we want to do an automatic refund so we're just going to click refund via stripe and it's going to show this prompt for you to confirm that you want to process the refund and when you process the refund you can undo it so you have to be very sure all right so we're just going to click ok and give it a few seconds and it's going to load you see how to confirm if the refund has been processed so you can see when it shows this it's going to show the quantity we've refunded and the amount that we've refunded to confirm that the, the refund has been processed through your payment gateway check the other notes here you see here it says refunded 107 dollars and you can see the refund reference and the reason so this confirms that it has been refunded in your payment gateway dashboard it's quite important to check this and you can see here it also says the other stage to change from processing to refunded mind you this is the main thing to check and not really this i'm saying not really this because some people usually will just come and change the other status to refunded which will have this note and they will assume they've processed the refund when you change the other status to refunded like this is the same thing as doing the manual refund that is going to require you to go to your payment gateway dashboard and refund the order before the customer will get their money so that's how to process an automatic refund and for that we did the full amount we're going to process the partial refund using the manual refund method so let's go to orders and you can see here this order has been refunded we're going to go for this one for the processing status we're going to click on it to open it up and we're going to do refund we simply just want to do a partial refund so let's just refund uh one unit the customer just want one unit uh instead of two so we're just going to do one and a partial refund can also be an amount so you could decide to refund maybe ten dollars which you will just enter here and you do refund so for what for this we just want to refund the price for one unit which is 55 dollars and once we enter the quantity one we're going to automatically calculate that rate the customer wants to keep their sunglasses so we are not going to refund that and we are going to use the manual refund method so for this we are going to enter reason maybe customer requested or product on available it's a refund manually now you only want to use the manual refund if payment was made maybe using a manual payment method maybe like bank transfer or if you know what you're doing you know that you're going to go to your payment gateway dashboard and refund the order if you don't want to you know go through the trouble of going logging into your payment gateway dashboard to refund the order make sure you are using 
the automatic refund. So you can see because this is a partial refund, it is not showing adding a note to say other status has been refunded because we did a partial refund and we also did uh, a manual refund. If it was an automatic refund, it should have showed the amount that was refunded via the payment gateway. So that's how to do an automatic refund and a manual refund in WooCommerce. As in, and you also learn how to do a full refund as well as a partial refund. Check out my channel for a video on WooCommerce order status, which explains the different order status and how you, you can change between them and why it's also important to change when to use the different order status available in WooCommerce. Thank you so much for watching. If you find the video helpful, like it, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be notified when I upload new videos on WooCommerce and WordPress. Bye for now.